Hello and welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is chapter 5, episode 12, I want to say. Might even be 13, but I think it's 12. What are we doing right now? Looks like everybody is back in base, but very beat up. We should probably take the turn to heal, and I could go to the market and look for some better gear. Is our smithy busy? Yes, they are currently researching. We just got a legendary weapon from a chest. We could go out and attack this caravan. Oh, look at that. Champion armor. Heavy chest armor available if you go fight all of these people one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. Erwin. I kind of want you to go take that champion chest armor from them. You have a heal. What skills do you have? You're missing some skills. You could have a kick. It'd be nice for you to have a kick. You're pretty tough to take down overall. Hmm. Well. What would you need to be a battle monk? With energy shield. Intelligence and willpower. Can you even get enough points overall to do that? 22 would give you all the intelligence. 23 and 24 would get you partially. You would, at 25, you could just then get energy shield. Is that worth it? I think so, but we have to remember to stay on the path towards that. Until then, I'm wondering what we'd do with our points. More damage and a kick. And ad additional chasing capabilities. Okay. Man, I am tempted to send Erwin down to this. Just have him 1v1 everybody. Because he does have a legendary weapon. With a heal, and he's very difficult to take down. You know, you just use some healing potions on him to get him back up to close to full health. You send Robert in behind him if uh, if really necessary. I don't... Hmm. We're going to try it just with Erwin. I believe in Erwin enough. I think he can fight off three people successfully and do enough damage to easily overcome them. She has veteran tier 2 light armor with a I'm guessing dwarf quiver. I don't know what kind of crossbow. I can't remember what type of crossbows there are. But it's an epic crossbow, no doubt. It, she didn't shoot me for 70 right off the bat, so that's a huge bonus. Kick her if you can, thank you. Then do a really big hit on her again. That would be super sick if you hit her again, in a big way. That was cool. She went down pretty quickly. I would like to take you down quickly. Claire. I don't know why I said your name that way. I did, I did mean to demean you, but not with a weird pronunciation. A snotty one, for sure. And what's up with this third person? They're a one-handed user. Well, they're going down for sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. 
Erwin easily dispatched all three of them. That's awesome. So great for him to get a heavy chest armor piece that is epic. The champion chest armor, of course. And he's only wounded. He's above the health he had when we gave him potions. Robert is a defender. Good for him. Maybe he should also become a... Making him a Ronin is really tempting. I don't know. I'm just going to keep training him. Why not, you know? I say that a lot. That why not thing. There you go. Champion chest armor. You are now more powerful. In a meaningful way. What can I do as far as... Well, not a whole lot today. Everybody can heal up while I go to the market real quick. Sell some stuff to make a bunch of money. Hopefully purchase additional epic armor. And... Yeah. I will sell that to you. All of this. We are giving up our dreams of some of the other garbage uh, ever becoming useful. You may, This guy may run out of money buying all of our garbage. It's happened before. I'll keep monster butcher legs. 12 gold is really nice to have right now though, gotta say. I don't need that, I and I don't think I need either of those. Right Wally? You're fine? Yeah. Again, we'd prefer epic stuff of all natures. Weapons, armor, necklace, cloak. We intend to get some legendary gear as a result of fighting in, in Gordas's games. I don't know how much, though. An assassin cloak. Two assassin's cloaks. Okay. I will gladly take two assassin's cloaks because I'm not seeing much of anything else. They've not really had impressive weaponry throughout the game, but that's okay. You will purchase that recipe, two re crafting recipes, that way I don't have to waste my time learning them. Because... At the rate we're going, we're not going to... Well, finally, we've learned one epic recipe, but it's so late, you know? We have 34 days until the Grand Venations. We need to go challenge people for sure and get our influence up. Desolate Fort is busy. Desert Sand is dumb. I don't know why I said that. 75 favor? Hmm. Blood Sand would give me 135. It would be a tough fight, for sure. Is there anything that I would do for any of you prior to going in? Well, yeah, I'd give you your cloaks. You're so close to getting unyielding. If only we had, like, a couple of really big experience potions. 
That would be awesome. I hope you don't die in um, combat here, Wally. Swan, as a battle monk, you've been very powerful. Does this work with two-handed weapons? It does. Breakthrough. Man, that's... I think we want to learn that. Don't we? We're not a berserker. We ought to become a berserker. But we're definitely getting Mortify and three points into Breakthrough as well. I would like for my guy to begin his fights with Breakthrough. Is there anything I need as a Ronin? I mean, obviously I would want these two, but I'm not going to have enough points to get everything. So we'll chill out. There we go. Akbar, you have that totally sick two-handed flail. Now you have a totally sick energy shield and the ability to do additional stamina damage. Let's give you a trigger, a new tactic. When you enter combat, cast energy shield on yourself. Great. You still have stuff to spend, apparently. Oh, stats. What do you need, stat-wise? Nothing, you're good. Gosh, we ought to make you a defender. Make you come back from the dead as well. It just seems like it's a good idea overall to make people come back from the dead. If you can. Let's send out our team to challenge these guys. Let them heal a turn. Go challenge again. We need to do what we can to increase our influence. Now we still have plenty of turns, don't get me wrong. I mean... You know, I'm getting, in some cases, more than a hundred influence if I win. But I don't want to be lax about it. Getting lazy is how you lose. Ooh, Wally. Please do not let these guys come stab you for free. They're going to shoot you to death, Wally. Get out of there. Wally just died. No way. Can't you go revive him? Akbar. That's really unfortunate. It's almost like... They hear me talking about them dying, and they die. Yeah. You won't go revive your teammate? Even though you saw them go down, you won't go revive them? You have a trigger to do it. Hmm. Some people might say, oh, get a death immunity potion. But uh, those are bugged. They do not work. So we've lost Wally, and we're down to our last alternate. It's unsurprising. You can't count on archers to stick around with you. Oh, you're in genre training, that's right. Okay. Well, we will wait a turn, or two turns. We do need a couple of turns for people to get healed up here. Erwin can get back to training immediately. Akbar, time for you to get back to training. Time for me to research additional armor. 
Swan, you are taking forever to heal up. Okay. Now, it's probably a good idea at this point to go to an escaped slave situation, a red one, and capture uh, like an escaped f freeman champion to fight for me. Robert, you probably have a lot of points to spend. We do need to give you an assassin's cloak. Wish you had better gloves. You got terrible gloves, but whatever. Is your armor okay? Or your weapon? You're using a green weapon. You suck, dude. Um, Class-wise, though, what can we do for you? You can become unyielding. Which is huge. You can also become a ronin. You need agility and precision. Mostly just one agility, two precision. Okay. We'll give you that intelligence as well. We got Samurai because it makes his headbutt do significantly more damage. That's 30, I mean 30 base damage right there. Liz, I totally forgot you were here. Yeah, you've just, you know, been kind of MIA. We do need to go fight. We need to continue to try and get our influence up. You can see we're at 2,000 now, so we're not so far behind, and we'll get almost 200 for winning this fight. So let's go here. And all of you will go fight. Bet on our team. You have to. Ooh, they got a tough team, though. At least they don't have a person shooting a crossbow. You see a crossbow, and you know that they're trying to kill your people. We don't like those crossbow users. You know, I should modify their trigger to cast this ability on the nearest enemy after casting energy shield. That way they rush into combat, they kind of break things up to begin with, because you know everyone's going to be crowded around someone like Robert who runs in. I wonder if Erwin can confidently win 1v1 situations. I know we could at 25, for sure. What if I gave... What if I swapped Erwin and... Swan's weapons, just swap a Rooney their weapons. Because I think Swan with energy shield is more likely to be the champion in a one on one. Just thinking out loud here. Robert, go heal a little bit, and same with you, Akbar. Maybe. We might want you to rush out and challenge somebody immediately. Obviously, not them. Obviously, not them. Desolate Fort, apparently, is who we want to challenge. 68 silver for veteran heavy leg. Oh, thank you. We need to probably oops, begin transforming our veteran armor. You're not wearing it, are you? No. Who is? Robert, obviously. Yeah, we should probably begin transforming your veteran gear into veteran tier 2. No, we can't. We can't do that because we need you to be available to challenge people. 
and we need that because uh, you know all our people are dying. You get the assassin's cloak because you kind of need it. You're the most butchery of of the remaining people on the team, frankly. That's really all there is to it. We will send a servant out to the mar markets. Oh, heavy veteran helmet tier two. Gosh. It's tempting, isn't it? So tempting. We'll take it. Perhaps I should take the other champion heavy gear. Maybe I should have got that Blackthorn set, really. I totally forgot about grabbing the Blackthorn set, and it's not a, you know, super difficult set to grab either. Maybe I'll go get that soon. A dwarf bow? I bet my uh, archer, my fallen archer, would have liked that. But now he's in hell, so... Rip. Oh, I've spent a lot of money already, so I'm going to back out of there and give people gear. Not that, not for you. I think you'd like something like the Moonstone Amulet, though. Swan, you are wearing four pieces of an armor set, so it makes no sense for you to change out one of them now. Starlight Amulet, though. Actually, that makes more sense again on... Well, Robert, frankly. I think that's a little bit better than what you got going on. Whatever. Liz is just irrelevant to the team, unfortunately. You know, I didn't train her up on anything. She's just... She's just there. Do I take this turn and go challenge somebody, or do I go... That's a, that's a rampaging beast. That's not an escaped slave kind of situation. My eyes deceive me. Alright, let's talk about challenging someone. Level 16's for 122 favor. Yeah, this is better. So we ought to challenge them. But our team is very beat up, so we will not. We will wait one turn before we go on another challenge. Go away. Do not talk to us. Begin researching. You probably couldn't craft that stuff anyways, even if I wanted to. I You need 9 forge skill. I doubt she has 9 forge skill right now. Oh, before I challenge you, desolate fort. Hello. We're going to challenge you instead. We heard you were talking a lot of trash. And we want Akbar to settle the score. In 30 days, less than then, Akbar will get monster butcher gear. Again, just so long as we survive the Grand Venations. We have to send our champion to that. Oh, man. You see that veteran tier 2 archer? He's got a bow instead of a crossbow. But it makes me nervous because he wants to kill. This is a very tanky team. But still, that guy wants to kill. And if you shoot someone in the back, they're not as tanky. Yeah, knock that guy down. Kick him. Hell yeah. You can't dodge anything when you're on your back. Interesting that we're ending up here at the end of the game with four people with uh, two-handed weapons. It's not interesting at all. Oh, it's almost to be expected. That's not true. I mean, obviously, we could have um, we could have an archer at the end. We could have a guy with a shield. We could have a dual wielder. 
There's all sorts of stuff that you can make it to the end with. But I, I did not make it to the end with everybody, so that's what happened. Anyways, check out everybody's loyalty. They're all at 10. We continue to climb in influence, and that would have knocked down Desolate Fort. They're, I mean, only down to 3251. We're down to 27 days. So, the furthest away opponent has 1,000 more influence than us, and we can gain more than 100 influence in many fights. A fight takes one day. You might need one or two days to recover. We're fine, influence-wise. Not saying we have to slow down. But we can. They're tough. I'm not gonna deny that. We haven't really looked at you guys enough. We should be looking at what everybody is offering in terms of their reward. I don't feel comfortable holding a game at my arena right now, given that I need to hoard influence. Wow, you are offering veteran medium gauntlets. I am interested in coming down there and taking those from you. Just not this second. Can we wait one turn to challenge them? Gain more HP? We will punish you both. Oh, the days of the Tali Empire. The ghost of... The armor set of Alianus. I need a female... In order to... I think female human. Might be that specific, but... They need to be a female, at the very least, in order to equip this armor. Who could equip it? Don't I have a team of dudes? I wish I could remember who's on my team, because now I don't know. The heck? I have a little dwarf. I don't think they're a woman. Erwin. Yeah, I don't think I have any women. We're going to ignore it, because I... I just realized we do have Liz. But, I mean, like I say, she is, she's been irrelevant so far, so I totally forgot about her. We could go get the Blackthorn armor set. It's not necessary. And you can easily get armor that's better than it. But we could get it. We're going to bet on our own team. Alyssa is kind of like a really normal name for a person. Like, why, why am I fighting against just a normal person in here from the 2020s? I don't like to see somebody that tanky up against me. You know, that's that's a pain to deal with. Especially if they have an archer who's going to try and pick me off in the background, right? But my team is handling uh, the situation really well, actually. They're all doing pretty good damage. They're all pretty tanky. And again, I need to adjust that trigger so they will use that ability on the nearest enemy. You know why you should use that ability? Because you're, you already have energy shield on, which increases your resistances, and your increase your resistances go up by another 50% when you use that ability. I mean, I should be very difficult to hurt, if not immune to damage, when I do that. So let us 
adjust that trigger. Cast energy shield to yourself, and then cast spell breakthrough to nearest enemy. Sick. Same with Akbar. Cast spell. You don't have it? Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Oops. Sorry, Akbar. I gotta go back in there and adjust your ability real quick. Thanks. Okay. Erwin, you really are beat up, man. And you're waiting to get energy shield. You need one intelligence, three willpower. Okay. I will have 10 willpower on when I'm 23. I will have 11 when I'm 24. I got it wrong. I'll get energy shield at 24. I'll be very happy. You have to learn to become a battle monk, I guess. I'm not seeing a lot of red treasure chests or caravans up here right now. Not the worst thing in the world, but I'd hope for more. There's a red caravan, so that's really good money, good potential to get an epic item as well in terms of gear, like armor or weapon. Uh, I don't think you can get a legendary item from a caravan. Man. Do we... Oh, nope, we're not fighting a... We're not fighting 22s. They will all outgear us significantly. We can do things like this, though. A fat ogre? For, I don't know, for 65 favor? Eh. That's big favor. That's big favor. It's also very, very difficult. I don't know. You know, I was feeling really confident about where we were favor-wise, but... I'm really thinking about it, you know. And I'm asking myself, what is the best way for me to get enough favor to win the Grand Venations? I would get 45 favor for beating up a newbie. 88 favor for fighting some level 11s? Okay. Gladly. Yeah, I'll go pick on these guys. For what is nearly 100 favor, I need it. And this will be the last fight of the episode. I've just moved my uh, coffee cup here to take a sip. I've, I've been waiting this whole episode for it to cool down. It was that hot. And I see that it's uh, really time to end this episode. Look at that team. They're inspiring. They don't have any champion gear. Not much, anyways. One guy has a piece of it. They're not champions, you know. And they're and they're still getting it done. Truly inspiring. With all those two-handed weapons, they just hit like a truck. And they have so much CC together, with all their kicks, their breakthroughs. I forgot to watch Swan to see him use that at the beginning of the fight. I guess I'll have to see that in the next battle. But for now, this has to be the end of the episode. So, thank you to everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next episode. Yep, I will end the episode in just a second. Here we go. Okay. Yep, thank you. See you next time.